Smartphones are becoming really crazy these days. So for example, you have 1X, you have 3X, you have 10X, and you can literally see what's happening in Jollibee. And to make it even crazier, you can go all the way to 100X and take a shot of Jollibee all the way down there. Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, we are doing a smartphone death match. Well, camera death match between two of the very best cameras on smartphones today. We have the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and we have the Samsung S20 Ultra. So if you're interested to find out what are the differences between the cameras of both these bad boys, keep on watching. Let's go. jump right into it so first up we have a shot taken of me in Tagaytay so I'm wearing an off-white jacket the project 721 shoebox tag mask by the way which is dropping August 15 check out 721.co for details of the release coming out really soon uh, and if you take a look at the Huawei P40 Pro Plus shot uh, it, it really emphasizes what it's good at which is about sharpness and detail so if you want to capture as much detail about a photo the p40 pro plus delivers and if you take a look at the samsung shot right next to it you also see where they are focusing at which is saturation and color which is something that you can really see with the skin tone and to some extent the overexposure of the green bamboo thing at my back so it ultimately depends what you want to capture if you want to capture detail and sharpness or if you want to capture like an overabundance of color saturation right now the next shot that we have over here is overlooking Taal Lake with the Taal Volcano and a small town at the very edge near the lake so for this shot, it's pretty much the same story. Saturation and color obviously pops a little bit more in the Samsung shot, while you get a lot more detail and sharpness over at the shot taken with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. However, if you start zooming in, the difference between the two starts to really come out. And it overemphasizes again uh, the point on sharpness and detail for the P40 Pro Plus versus the color saturation on the Samsung S20 uh, Ultra. By the way, can I just say that it is insane that you can literally see the town, as in what's happening in the town with the zoom shot with the cameras. It, I'm mind blown the level of technology being crammed into smartphones today. Uh, the 10x optical zoom of the, of the P40 Pro Plus really shines through in this particular shot. Now the next shot, I just I just had to try it. I tried the 100x uh, shot. And if you take a look at the Huawei P40 Pro Plus shot, you can actually see the guy on the motorcycle. So you can see the tail light. Uh, and if you take a look at the Samsung S20 Ultra, I, I was able to take a shot of one of the houses uh, down there uh, in the village. Overall, when it comes to our Tagaytay scene, I'm leaning heavily towards the Huawei P40 Pro Plus on most of the shots except for the landscape shot because I just like how the way the saturation and the color pops with the Samsung shot of the landscape, but everything else from the shot of me uh, in Leslie's to the zoom shot, it, it was just good to see the detail and the sharpness uh, not being overpowered by the, the color saturation. What about you guys? What is your preference? I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think, which photo, which camera you like the best. Hit the comment section down below. Now for, from Tagaytay, we go all the way to Green Hills during evening. So Green Hills is a mall over here near where I live and I went out here during the evening. So this is a night shot with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and the Samsung S20 Ultra of one of my favorite Chinese restaurants, which is Gloria Maris. I miss Gloria Maris. The Kamameshi Town restaurant over here is also is a really good value for money Japanese restaurant. When they open, I will definitely dine in in both. And again, guys, it's the same story. In terms of color saturation and pop, you get it with the Samsung. In terms of detail and sharpness, you get it with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. And can I just say, I mean, for shots taken during the night, for it to illuminate like this, and to see all the detail of the different things from the, 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 the wording of Kamameshi Town, to the little details, to the leaves of the plants near Gloria Maris, the Chinese characters below Gloria, oh man, I, it, I'm, 
cameras these days are really friggin' amazing, and, and this is a testament to that. Uh, moving down, we have another shot this time of V Mall, which is the actual mall of Green Hills. Again, night mode. And again, it's the same story. You have the color pop with the Samsung S20 Ultra. You have the sharpness and the details with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. I think I will keep repeating myself throughout this because that's really the theme. And you can already see the difference of the two cameras at play uh, here in the, these shots. Now let's flip it over. I took a quick selfie with me and my wife. So to those who don't know, we go on evening walks and there are not a lot of people anymore. And uh, well, it is a little bit cooler. So this is where we try to get our 10,000 steps. So we wear a mask, we bring alcohol, we walk around Green Hill Small, no people, safe, right? So for this one, uh, as you can see, the front-facing camera of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus really delivered. And it is exceptionally so much better than the shot that I was able to take with the Samsung S20 Ultra. So for this shot, if you ask me overwhelmingly, I would go with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Okay, now if I need to call a winner between the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and the Samsung S20 Ultra in the night shot space, uh, I would lean towards the Samsung mainly because I prefer the pop of color uh, versus the sharpness and detail when it comes to situations like this. However, if you flip it around, if you take a look at this front-facing camera, I would easily go with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, hands down. From the detail, to the imaging, to the color profile, it was just so much better than what we got with the Samsung S20 Ultra. Next up, let's do an afternoon shot in Green Hill. So this is one of the roads, I think it's, I'm not sure it's Connecticut or Missouri, but it is leading up to one of my other favorite restaurants here, which is Chili's. And we'll talk about Chili's in a bit. Now on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, again, you see a lot of the detail, the, the, the small minute details of the road, you can actually still see, which is amazing. And if you turn over to the Samsung S20 Ultra, it's all about the color. Uh, immediately, you can see the difference of how deep the blues are versus the blues of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Now, I mentioned chilies. You probably can't see chilies right now, but I actually turned on the 100x zoom to try to spot the, the nameplate or the, the signage of chilies. And if you take a look at the shot taken with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, again, this is where all that sharpness and details kicks in. So much better, captures the image pretty well considering it was far and didn't have a tripod versus the almost blurred image of the Samsung S20 Ultra. However, you do get the green color and the red color more with the Samsung, right? So again, I mean, at least we're starting to understand how camera or how the smartphone designers were thinking when they were building the camera and they were programming the AI uh, for both devices. The last set, I'm going to talk about what I love to really take photos of, which are my toys, sneakers, and my watches. So this is for me like the pen ultimate category because this is where primarily how I use my phone, how I use the camera. I'm not a selfie guy. I'm not a landscape guy. I like taking shots of the stuff that I love, be it my cameras, my toys, or my sneakers. So first up, let's do a watch. So this one is the Seiko Zimbe Thanos watch. I call it the Thanos watch and a lot of people call it the Thanos watch because of the gold, blue, purple, uh, color of the watch. Uh, so it is a Seiko and if you put it side by side, you have the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and you have the Samsung S20 Ultra. For this one, I would have to really go with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus because when it comes to object shots or shots of items and toys, you really have to take a look at the detail more than anything else and the sharpness. You want to capture as much as possible and uh, I, I man, it, for me, it's a hands down winner for the Huawei P40 Pro Plus for the watch. By the way, if you want to see my review of this watch, I'll link it down below. Next, we have one of my favorite sneakers. So this is the Louis Vuitton Trainer Low by Virgil Abloh. And quick story about the shoe. I bought this for retail at around 50,000 pesos or $1,000. I made a quick check over at StockX just a few days ago. People were bidding $2,000 or 100,000 pesos for this shoe. So yes, shoes are an investment if you know what you're doing. Anyway, so moving to this picture, you can see that the detail from the stretch marks, stretch marks to the small details of the leather. Who knew shoes had trim? But anyway, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. From the, from the flaws and the imperfections of the shoe, it really comes out more on the Huawei versus the color. So it, it kind of looks like the, the, the S20 Ultra 
has deeper blacks. And and it's a kind of a cheat because it kind of masks the imperfections, especially if you take a look at the Louis Vuitton gold label along the side of the shoe. So you see more detail on the Huawei P40, P40 Pro Plus versus the Samsung S20 Ultra. I do have to point out though that for some reason, it looks like that the yellow color came out more on the P40 Pro Plus and it's a little bit more neutral on the S20 Ultra. So I just have to point that out. Next, we have one of my favorite toys. You see it on the back. That is my one is to one scale uh, of the Infinity Gauntlet, of course, worn by Thanos, the Mad Titan, my favorite character of all time. <laughs> Talaga favorite character, no? So if you take a look at the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, uh, it's there, the detail is there, but, I, but I'd really have to go specifically for this shot. Uh, while I think some people will lean towards the S20 Ultra because of the color, I am actually leaning towards the P40 Pro Plus because it captures more detail and you can just enhance it later. It's as if there was some sort of like color saturation filter built in on the Samsung. Again, if you like that type of shot, then you can go with it. Uh, but personally, I prefer capturing as much details, even the imperfections and the discolorations more. So personally, I would score it for the P40 Pro Plus, but I can't blame you if you will score this one for the Ultra because the colors pop a little bit more. Now I did do the optical zoom of the Infinity Gauntlet. So you can see here a close. So this is not me like moving towards the gauntlet. This is me still in my same place and then just hitting the zoom. And again, it's the same story. The sharpness and the detail come out for the P40 Pro Plus. And that's why I think it's a much better picture, uh, well, at least when it comes to this set. But you know what I find funny? I've been talking about how the detail and the sharpness has always been on the side of the P40 Pro Plus and how the color saturation and the brightness tend to go to the S20 Ultra. And then we have this shot. So this is a shot of my most expensive Pumpco Pop, which is the Planet Arlia Vegeta. And it kind of looked like it reversed because all the color and the pop went to the P40 Pro Plus and some sort of like the, the sharpness came out on the S20 Ultra. I think it was something to do with my angle <laughs> for this shot because just to illustrate my point, you actually see the scar or that, uh, that mark on the protector that we have on the Planet Arlia Vegeta on the S20 Ultra camera than the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Medyo napakamot ako ng ulo doon. So yeah. If I were to pick like one winner out of the two, uh, specific for this category, I would have to go with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Uh, mainly because when it comes to the detail, it's there. And if you just want to add like saturation and color, you can easily do that, uh, I mean, on the photo editing app that you have on your phone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our photography battle between the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Which of the two did you like the most? Which pictures that you end up picking the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed our tech vlog for today. Watch out for more videos in the coming days ahead. And by the way, if you haven't seen my latest giveaway yet, we are giving away a bunch of sneakers. Make sure to watch that video. I'll link it down below. We're giving away an Adidas Oswego Pusha T collaboration. We're giving away two shoes. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you haven't liked this video, you haven't shared this video, you haven't commented yet, do all of that so that you can be part of the draw. By the way, the link to the mechanics of the giveaway can be found down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. If you want to buy the phones, I'll put links down below as well to Lazada so you can buy them if you are feeling like it. Guys, this is Carlo signing out. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.